Hello, KTA Tigers. Happy Friday, April 5th, 2024. This is the KTA News. It has been such a busy week at KTA. So I know quite a few of you are ready for it to be Friday. Happy that it's Friday. I am also happy it's Friday. And I continue to be proud of each and every one of you. I meet, might see some of you for makeup testing today. Otherwise, I hope you have a lovely, amazing day. We're going to start off not with our normal slides like we normally do. We're going to start off with a video. Our KTA Tiger Pride bands are made up of many leveled ensembles. From true beginners, so people who have never played a musical instrument before at all, that would be me, to four and five year veteran musicians. The advanced band Wind Ensemble journeyed to North High School in Phoenix right before break to perform in the Arizona Band and Orchestra Directors Association Area Festival. Their music was judged by a panel of highly accomplished professionals and the band was awarded a rating of excellent. I am so, I know, Miss Scott, our band director, I know Dr. Lesher, and I certainly am so proud of the individuals that are part of this band. From what I heard from Miss Scott, the judges were hard, it was intimidating, and our musicians just did such a phenomenal job. So as I share this video, I want you to just remember that no matter what year you join, the KTA Tiger Pride Band has a spot for you no matter what your level. So I hope some of you will consider joining bands. You can start as early here at KTA as fourth grade and play up through eighth grade. Here we go. Thank you again, Ms. Scott, for sending that in. I love shares from teachers. I know I say it all the time, but I feel like I need to just say it one more time, just in case people don't believe me. I love it. I want to share what you are doing in your classroom, so keep it going. We have one last share from the Miranda family on their amazing spring break adventures. So as I mentioned a couple of times this week, they went to Boston, Massachusetts. I have visited Boston before only one time and the amount of history they have, cool things to see. Here you can see Riley and Andrew in front of the Old North Church and a, a the big Paul Revere statue. I saw that when I went to Boston as well. Dr. Lesher went to college in Boston. She lived in that area for many years. So I know she would love and would want to tell everybody what an amazing place it is to visit. And here are two more pictures of the Mirandas on their adventures. Thank you, Mrs. Miranda, for sending this in. Thank you, Riley and Andrew, for being brave and sharing with everyone the cool things you got to see over spring break. Next week, we will continue our state testing. On Monday, third through eighth graders will take their first math assessment. On Tuesday will be the first reading assessment for third through eighth grade. We'll take a break on Wednesday. I will probably pull some friends on Wednesday for makeups. On Thursday, we'll do our second reading assessment for third through eighth graders. And on Friday, 
we will do our second math assessment for third through eighth graders. On those mornings that on the the mornings we have testing, I will pull people in the afternoons or later in the morning after a short break for a second test if you have makeups that need completed. That is it for today's KTA announcements. Have a great day, Tigers, and have a lovely, safe weekend. Go Tigers!